Welcome back, friends. They were next year every Monday through Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. on Wham Talk 1600. Thank you for paying attention out there, getting involved on the radio station. Our website is whamannarbor.com. We stream 24-7. You can pick up archives of this show on theyroan.com. Let's bring uh, Brian Rooney back up. He is with me, joining me here. Uh, he wants to be uh, House of Representatives uh, congressman from District 7. Welcome back, Brian Rooney. All right. Thanks for having me, Theron. Uh I'm on your page, clear on the issues, and I want to make sure that you will get a chance to uh, state your case here in the remaining break. We've got about five minutes here. Uh, anything you want to tick off uh, here with regard to this page and, and, and where you stand possibly in, uh, I, I want to say, uh, different than the other, your, your, your competitors? Well, you know, the number one thing, as I said before, is we got to get um, focused on job creation and, you know, creating an environment where businessmen and women and entrepreneurs can start spending their money and have an idea what the future holds for them. So, as I said before, we need to get rid of capital gains tax, freeze all discretionary spending, and then, uh, except for military, and then uh, get rid of the estate tax, and then stop the Obama agenda. What I mean by that is get rid of the uh, cap and trade. That's a job killer, not just manufacturing, but farming and uh, individuals as far as increasing their energy prices. And then we need to also make sure that we have a realistic attitude or understanding of who the enemies of this country are. And radical Islam is the first and foremost. And uh, we can't pretend that they're going to want to shake our hand and have a, a late-night college dorm room jam session with us and figure out why we disagree. We fundamentally have a different view of the world than they do, and they want to kill us. You know, Ronald yeah. Reagan called a communism evil in, in the Soviet Union, and I call radical Islam evil as well. So we need to make sure we have an understanding of the enemy we're facing overseas and the one that's trying to kill us at home as well. That's always something that every congressman or woman has first and foremost they need to think about as far as national security. And then, you know, we have to have a good uh, agriculture policy, as well. not just because farmers feed us, but because it is also a national security issue. Uh, we need to make Michigan business friendly again. We need a governor that talks very boldly and reforms the system that we have now because people are leaving this state in droves. People my age, uh, I'm 37, people younger, they're just graduating you know, from Michigan State or any of these other colleges, and they're, they're going to Indiana, Ohio, Florida, or Mexico, uh, Texas because that's where they can get jobs. I was endorsed by the Michigan Chamber of Commerce yesterday, so you know people understand that we need folks that have real-world experiences new blood that, you know, aren't tainted by D.C., but have a proven track record of service to the country and uh, for all those things. How do you feel about uh, part-time legislature, meaning, uh, well, like Texas has a part-time legislature, and uh, and term limits? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all for term limits. I think, you know, in, in the state level, Michigan term limits probably should be extended a little bit uh, to make them a little longer, in my opinion, but we should still retain them. In the U.S., federal government, you'd need a constitutional amendment. Uh, for me, you have to have people here that don't want to stay down there like John Dingle and make it a lifetime. Right. I want to go down there for, you know, in my own mind, 10 years, and then come back, you know, be 48 and start another career. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as what was the other question? Uh, well, the, part, the, the part-time limit is, is or part-time legislature is a house, uh, a state house thing. But, you know, sometimes I wonder, it, it'd almost be better not to have people in Washington yeah, for a few they, percentage of the year. They can't screw up our lives and, and put us more taxes on us. Hey, how Texas does it every other year? They have more people. They have more. They're a more successful state. Why can they do it? We are the number one state in the country with one-way U-Haul rentals out of the state. Texas is the number one state of one-way U-Haul rentals into the state. That tells you something right there. Yeah, well, we have a governor in this state talking about the state politics who uh, offered the uh, the Hollywood crew 40% off, and they came in in droves, and it didn't click with her that we should possibly do that across the board. Yeah. You know, you need to be uh, have this policy for all manufacturing. Manufacturing is still the number one industry in Michigan. It's a close second to agriculture, but you know, everybody likes to say our manufacturing is dead in Michigan. No, it's not. We need to have innovation and, uh, you know, new kind of job creation as well. But we can do all the above. We don't have to kill off our manufacturing industry. We can keep it going. We just have to make it uh, business-friendly for them. Would you call or support a call for an audit? Uh, A lot of people scream audit the Fed. I'm screaming audit the EPA. I mean, when they shut off water to the San Joaquin Valley, the breadbasket of America, something's horribly wrong. Uh, would, Would you agree with that? 
Yeah, I say hot at the Fed, and I say the other thing that Congress has abrogated its responsibility completely on is regulating these agencies like the EPA or the FDC and uh, some of these others that are completely out of control. They need to rein them back in and uh, sometimes maybe even completely scrap them and start over because they've turned into Godzilla. Hallelujah. uh, Absolutely. In fact, one of the things I've been screaming here now lately is uh, no, no regulation without legislation. We are, we're all familiar with no taxation without representation, but no regulation without legislation. That's up to the House, not up to a bunch of bureaucrats with uh, some type of police state law. Yeah, there's something called a resolution of disapproval that uh, you still have the power in the House and the Senate to stop the EPA and some of these other regulatory bodies from doing what they want to do. Right now you have the trade looming, and they say... The EPA says, well, if you don't pass it, we're going to regulate it anyway. Yeah. Well, what was that all about? They don't have the power to do that. Well, they have the raw power to do it, but the Congress could stop them from doing it. Yeah, well, they actually threatened us with it, if you recall. There, it was yeah. kind of like, if you don't let us pass this, watch out. The EPA's coming. <laughs> like, what? Hey, uh, somebody just called in. They wanted to ask you where you stand on this recent, uh, the Israel, uh, whatever, the, the boats trying to slip through the, the blockade. Uh, where do you stand on that? Israel has to be able to defend itself and enforce its sovereignty. I say Israel should send a flotilla, a humanitarian flotilla, to uh, uh, Turkey and for the humanitarian effort of the Kurds up there. You know, they're repressing the Kurds in Turkey, and uh, the Turks come down, and the Israelis are repressing the Palestinians. It's ridiculous. You know, all it is is you know, to try to make the Israelis bad, and they're our greatest friend, the only democracy in the Middle East. We need to support them. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that 100%. Uh, uh, somebody called in and wanted to know. Uh, and, and, you know, that's absolutely true. They are the one ray of sunshine in just probably, you could argue, the most dangerous part of the world. Yeah, in a small part of the world. Yeah. Well, listen, I want to thank you for being on the show. Best of luck to you. You guys have a debate coming up soon? We do. Uh, we have several coming up in forums, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay, when's the, when's the next one? Uh, I don't know what I do every day. My schedule changes every day, so I don't know when the next debate's going to be, but I know it's coming up. Okay. I'll let you know for sure, though. Well, it'll be on your site, too. Good luck to you. Thank you, Peyron. All right. Thank you, Brian Rooney. Runwithrooney.com. Runwithrooney.com. Brian wants to be in the House of Representatives. You know, of the three guys running in the 7th District, uh, I think we have some pretty good candidates. I'm going to let them duke it out. Again, we don't really do a debate here on this show. We'll let them all state their case. If you're a politician, you got a case to state, get with us. Wham Talk 1600. I'm Thayer. We're next year on The Edge.